I'm Wally Amos. Read It Loud is a foundation that creates awareness about the benefits, the values, and the importance of parents, adults, reading aloud to children from birth to age six for at least 10 minutes a day. If you do that, you will have a reader. The idea is not just to learn to read, but to have a thirst for words, a love for reading. Reading aloud works. It's been working for generations, and it works today. Read it loud! Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. How Rocket Learned to Read. The author and the illustrator is Tad Hill. Sometimes the author and the illustrator are the same person. Um, Rocket's got a lot of books, though. Okay. On the publisher, Schwartz Wade Books. Rocket loved to play. He loved to chase leaves and chew sticks. He loved to listen to the birds sing. That's the bird singing. Every fall morning after chasing leaves, Rocket would lie down in his favorite spot under his favorite tree. There, he'd sniff the neighborhood smells and settle in for a good nap. But one day, a little yellow bird startled Rocket. Aha! My first student. Wonderful, she sang. Rocket was confused. Student, I, I'm, I, I'm not a, but if I am your teacher, the bird interrupted, then you must be my student. Rocket found it hard to argue with this bird. I am so glad you saw my sign, the bird chirped. Oh yes, I can see it, Rocket said. But I don't know how to read. No. Can't read? Fantastic. She waved a wing. Welcome to my classroom. But I just came here to nap, Rocket said. No, no, no. There will be no napping in class, declared the bird, except, of course, of course during nap time. Well, then... I can take a nap over here, said Rocket. I've had a very busy morning. Not to worry, I'll be around every day, chirped the bird, until the weather turns. So Rocket has a resistance to learning how to read. I hope that you boys don't have that resistance. You boys and girls don't have that resistance. You must have a thirst, a yearning for learning how to read, a hunger for learning how to read. As Rocket breathed in the crisp air, the little yellow bird hung his banner. Ah, the wondrous, mighty, gorgeous alphabet, she marveled, where it all begins. So let's very quickly see if you guys can identify the alphabets. One, two, three, go. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you play sing with me? 
Very, very good. Give yourselves a hand. That was fantastic. <laughs> Opening up a book, the bird began to read. She sang out the story of an unlucky dog named Buster who lost his favorite bone. A cool breeze carried her lively voice across the yard. At first, Rocket was disturbed. <clears throat> but before long, he found himself captivated. To Rocket, the story was as delicious as the earthy smells of fall. It was as exciting as chasing leaves. He closed his eyes and listened to every word as Buster dug and dug under the lilac bush. The bird read, he felt something familiar. Rocket waited. Was it a bone, he wondered? Silence. Was it the bone, he called to the bird? More silence. Was it the bone? Rocket hollowed. Suddenly, he was rushing to the tree. Well, 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 was it? But the little, little yellow bird was gone. <clears throat> so isn't it interesting now how the story has gotten Rocket interested? That's what books do, you know. They hook you, and then you can't put them down. You can't finish reading them because you can't wait to find out what the next answer is going to be. <clears throat> The next morning, Rocket arrives early. At last, the little yellow bird appeared. Hello, how, how wonderful to see you in class, she chirped. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are well rested. I'd, I'd like to hear the end of the story, please, said, said Rocket. That seems like a, a fine way to start the day, chirped the bird. She gave Rocket a name tag and began to read. Once you get hooked to reading, guys, nothing can replace it. Every day, Rocket returned to the little yellow bird's classroom. In the morning, the bird taught him a new letter until he'd learned all of the wondrous, mighty, glorious alphabet. Together, they sang out the sounds that each letter makes and spelled the sounds they heard around them. With a G and many R's, they spell Mr. Barker's growl. Rawr! So when you listen, to every word, every, every letter, every sound in a word. It, it gives them life. I mean, and you as a reader then become the person who breathes life into those, uh, into those, those words. Now, as we read, you're going to notice the scenery is changing. The, the leaves on the trees are becoming brown because the illustrations are also a part of telling the story. They spell the sound of the wind which was growing colder by the day. Whoosh! Whoosh! Soon they were spelling words like fall for the gusty time of year, and red for the color of the leaves. Each afternoon, the bird read a story. She read stories about dogs and birds. She read about leaves changing colors and about birds flying south for the winter. Then one day, the weather turned, and the letter banner disappeared. See you again in the glorious spring, 
the bird sang. And as she flew into the wintry sky, she called, Don't forget, words are built one letter at a time. So you notice how the scenery has changed? Everything is brown. Have you guys ever been to the mainland during the winter? Yeah. Yeah. Well, in the cold parts of the mainland, this is the way it looks. All the leaves leave the trees, and the trees look like they're dead, but they're not. They're just resting. They're hibernating. They're, they're, they're regaining their strength for the coming year. The days grew shorter and the leaves fell from the trees. The grass became crunchy. Soon, Rocket's classroom disappeared under the snow. He remembered the little yellow bird's alphabet and practiced his letters. So he practiced the letters in the snow. So now he was hooked on books. He was hooked on learning, which is what happens because there's so many new discoveries as you read more and as you learn more. So you can't wait um, for the next discovery to happen. And you guys ever seen snow? Ever been in snow? You have. About, about four of you. Uh, as a little boy, I grew up in snow. I was raised in New York City. I used to snow all the time. As a little boy, I loved snow because as a kid, it's really fun. But as an adult, when you have to go to work every day, it stops being fun. <laughs> Rocket thought about the bird's chirp while he sounded out words like D-I-G. What does D-I-G spell? Dig. Dig. And W-I-N-D. Wind. And C-O-L-D. Oh. <laughs> He made new friends and spelled their names. Hello, E-M-M-A. Hi there, F-R-E-D. Fred. Fred. He spelled everything. S-U-N. M-E-L-T. Melt. What does that mean? What, when something mel melts. What, what is it doing? It's disappearing or it's turning or it's changing form. You know, like ice will melt and turn into water. But that's a, that's a great practice when you're just learning words, to sound them out, uh, to spell them, uh, and to spell uh, things that you see, uh, people that you, their, their names, people you meet. Oh, Rocket's got a mud mustache. When Rocket spelled M-U-D, he knew that spring as it always does, had returned. The breeze blew warmer, the grass grew greener, and a sign appeared. What does that sign say? Class tomorrow. tomorrow. Early the next morning, Rocket rushed to his classroom. As he waited, he spelled W-A-G. Wag. Wag. What part of rocket wags? His tail. They <laughs> get so excited they wag their tails. Soon the little yellow bird arrived. Aha, my star student, she sang. How wonderful to see you. I can tell by your waggy tail that you are ready for class. What does that sign say? Welcome back, Rocket. Welcome back, Rocket. Then together, they began to read. They read stories about birds flying north in the spring. They read about picnics in the warm sun. And they read about Buster, the lucky dog, who found his bone under the lilac bush. And when they were done, they read again and again. And A-G-A-I-N, again. 
And that's what happens, boys and girls, when you really get excited about reading. Thanks for reading, guys. Thanks for being a great audience. Bye-bye.